Turkey Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and I've got some good old H2O once again. Well, hey guys, I um, want to kind of switch things up just a little bit here and talk about something that I had um, recently been uh, looking into. Uh, the title, of course, gives it away. Talking about firewalls um, for the, your... Uh, flight test or flight test type airplanes. And I, I kind of originally um, started looking into alternatives to that because, you know, a, a lot of times for me, uh, as you could, could probably see from videos in the past, I tend to uh, tend to nose down quite a lot. I tend to smack into the ground, um, run into fences, things like that. Um, so uh, eventually those little hobby plywood firewalls you know, eventually give um, after so many uh, crashes and, and hard hits on the nose and everything. So, um, so essentially what I do um, is uh, I don't really make my own firewalls, um, but what I've done in the past is I just tend to I, I support them. I go into their flight test store and I actually uh, purchase some mini firewalls or some standard firewalls and, and keep a little pack around. But I started venturing into the the part, uh, I started kind of venturing into looking into making my own firewalls or trying to come up with some other 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 options for that. Because I was breaking them quite a bit. And um, I, I suppose if you're not hard on them like me, that the standard firewalls are just fine. But like I said, I tend to tend to you know, nose them into the ground sometimes or hit fences and, and everything else. So I needed something that was durable and um, or something basically that can just withstand my abuse really is, is what it all boils down to. So I started kind of you know researching it and looking into it and something that kind of caught my attention was a, a post an article, uh, I don't remember exactly which, uh, from Nerd Nick who is another um, uh, another big member in the community who is who's also uh, actually introduced some of his own designs and stuff as well. I'll provide a link to his uh, his page and everything in the description below. But uh, I looked at uh, something that Nerd Nick posted, and it was it was kind of talking about you know sort of a DIY firewall approach as well. And something that he had found was he went to Lowe's or Walmart or someplace and picked up one of those little uh, uh, waste baskets that you go get for like your, your bathroom or something like that. And he uh, basically uh, just cut the plastic up and you know used firewalls from that. And for me, from my experience, um, I I did not quite have that have that luck. Um, the the problem is is the place I went to to look for these little trash cans. Uh, I I kind of did it did it in a just kind of a spur of the moment kind of thing. So I really didn't shop around a lot. But I just went to one of the first places that I happened to be close to, which was Dollar General, and they didn't really have any little trash cans that were relatively affordable. They had one trash can that was larger and it was like ten dollars, and I was like, well, I don't want to spend ten bucks on a you know, big trash can. So I looked around the store and tried to find some other alternative things that I could do, and one of the things that I found was a um, a dish pan, a plastic dish pan. You go over where the uh, the dishes and the cooking section is and all that, where all the utensils are, and there's a dish pan that they had. I think it was. Um, Maybe a two or three quart. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll link a similar um, item in the uh, description below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's a basic plastic dish pan. And what I ended up getting out of it was approximately around 30 firewalls out of that single dish pan. Now, there are parts of that dish pan, of course, that I could not use because they were, you know, of course, the, the, the plastic was curved and things like that. But for what areas I could, you know, I was able to create, you know, a bunch of these little firewalls. And of course, I haven't cut the screw holes out or anything like that yet. But, you know, here it is. And it's it's just plastic. It's, um, believe it or not, I felt it was actually pretty durable, um, you know, despite it being plastic. Um, it's probably, a, I would say, just a tad bit thinner than your standard plywood firewalls. It has a little bit of flex to it if I apply a bunch of pressure to it. But really, flex was not that bad at all. And um, I just really think that this is a good 
um, a good approach to, to a sort of do-it-yourself firewall. Um, right now, I'm fixing up a couple different planes that are going to have these firewalls. We'll kind of give them a good tryout. Later on, uh, as I've basically experimented with them and stuff, I will gladly leave my two cents worth um, on these firewalls and how they perform. Um, like I said, I think that, you know, with the strength of it, I mean, I'm giving a lot of pressure and it's finally starting to flex a little. Um, I mean, I really have, you know, good high hopes for these things. So I'm hoping that we'll have some good success with these and that I may not have to, uh, use up a whole bag of them, uh, for, for doing any flying. So, but I will, guide, I mean, I will definitely keep you posted throughout, uh, the course of time here. Uh, let you know how these firewalls perform. And something that's really interesting about these firewalls too, and this is gonna blow your mind, but you know, I told you how, you kinda of saw how durable they were, but look at this. You can cut them with just standard scissors. Um, I found that rather interesting as too, rather interesting too. Now, of course I had to get some larger uh, snips, larger cutters to kinda of break apart the dish pan to get to the usable the usable pieces, but once I had the template already kind of marked out and, and all that, I could cut the whole thing with a pair of scissors. So I thought that was uh, I thought that was pretty impressive. So um, I think the dish pan probably only, probably only cost about four or five dollars. And um, what uh, kind of going back to Nerd Nick again, I think he, you know, he found trash cans that he was using that were four or five dollars as well. So. Um, you know, if you want a good DIY firewall approach, um, shop around a little bit uh, at like the dollar stores and Walmart and things like that. And, uh, you know, look for some of these plastic everyday things that you see, whether it's a trash can or dish pan or whatever. And, uh, you know, see if you can utilize some of the plastic there uh, to use for firewalls. So, box like I will keep you guys posted on that. And with that in mind, that is all from me. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.